Hello everybody, my name is Sir Dooku and welcome back to some Diablo 2. <laughs> For a minute there I didn't think my game was going to go, uh, come up. And I cannot believe you guys, you guys want me to do both Unreal Tournament and Diablo for my Let's Plays. Now, normally I would not be complaining, but for Diablo and Unreal Tournament to work, I need to put in a CD every time, because they're CD-based games. And that for me is a pain in the ass because every time I want to do a recording I also have to remember to put the CD in the freaking system every time because all my other games all I have to do is just click on them and they run without a CD <laughs> Ugh. you guys are the worst <laughs> and to make matters worse uh, this uh, the next quest that we need to do uh, we have to, uh, uh, get, uh, we have to go and, uh, rescue Deckard Cain, and trust me, that is going to be a very, very long video, because there's a whole bunch of shit that we have to do to do that. Um, first of all, we have to find Stony Fields. And then after that, we map out Stony Fields. Then we gotta go through the fucking cave. It go through another freaking cave. Then we have to map out freaking uh, uh, dark woods. Find the tree. Bring the scroll to uh, get. Uh, I forget the girl's name. And then she uh. Has, makes a touch a bunch of stones, and we have to rescue Deku Kane inside of this ultimate, ultimate dimension or whatever the fuck? I don't know. It's weird. Just got You guys just watch and you see. But either way, this is going to be a long video because there's going to be a lot of walking around. You know what? I should be just following the path. And my game is already fucking lagging. You see this shit? My skeletons were glitching out too. How I'm enjoying. <sighs> I guess I'm just complaining today. You just got wrecked. <sighs> Worst part about it today is my is my body keeps hurting. My back hurts. What the fuck? No. What? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I I fired the, the arrow the wrong way when I was clearly clicking on her. That was some some serious bullshit. Now where the hell is the shaman? It's over there. And he is very, very dead. My game is lagging like crazy. Why is that? I don't freaking know. Ooh, drop. You know what? I should not be complaining. That is like the second, the second or third gem that these guys just dropped today, and that is cool. Right. Like, stop existing, please. So many freaking undead like rogues. Or... I think there's they're like they're like the assassins. That you can play as in this game. Down. Uh. Oh, this is the graves. Fuck. Ugh, 
gonna relax my back, it hurts. <laughs> this way, my army of skeletons. Coca Cola has second sponsored. Take that. One thing of gold. That guy was very rich. You know, it's kind of funny that these demons are all. These demon and undead creatures are all carrying money. It's like they have their whole, whole like, civilization going here. Oh, they're very dead. Oh my god, what's with all this shaman? God damn it. Where is he? Oh, there's the motherfucker. He's over there. Oh, one shot. He's dead. Oh, stop! Oh, my, uh... My archer who's helping me out. She leveled up. Nice. I wonder if I could level up. But my experience bar is going very slow, which makes sense. Uh, you level up kind of slowly in this game. Extent, like, when you first start, though, you level up pretty fast. Uh, but once you get a pass a certain level, you go very, very slow. And it could be forever before you start to level up. And that's why doing extra dungeon stuff uh, starts to become kind of redundant. Just because you really don't get much XP out of it, because how slow your only best bet is just to keep going with the story and level up from that. No! Oh God! It's a major. This is why I like playing, uh, playing, um, uh, some characters, you know, characters who can summon <laughs> creatures like the druid. Well, oh, there's only two of them, the, the necromancer and the, and the druid, found stony fields. Um, I how this plays. Anyways, as I was trying to say, uh, playing the druid and the necromancer is really cool for me because you can have a whole army of monsters helping you. For the necromancer, it's an army of undead creatures. Uh, for the druid, it's an army of animals, <laughs> literally, like an army of wolves and birds and shit. Although I prefer to use wolves because for some reason the wood raven summon, uh, they have like a time limit and they just get to play. I'm uh, wiping the happy guy here and I'm trying to. Oh my god, I I dropped some boots. No, I'm overburdened! No! Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. Uh. Oh, it's mostly potions. Uh, let's throw out some of these potions. Uh, take that. Um, some gold. Lots of gold here. Uh, I can fill some of the rest of this up with potions. Cause there's so much fucking potions here. Oh, 
Oh, one of my freaking skeletons are dead. Oh well. I'm not worried. I'll go back. There's plenty of bodies I could use. You can only bring skeletons back to life when you uh, when there's like bodies laying around, which is actually really convenient because as you go through, uh, as you're playing, you just you just bring up a, a whole thing of bodies anyway because you're killing everything. <laughs> we got some three rings here. We'll see if they're any good. Strength, ah, that's okay. That one has poison resistance. I'm keeping that. That puts these to, to shame, so these are basically garbage. Oh, both of these are gold. Lightning resistance, uh, poison resistance. The rest of it I really don't really care about. Oh. Well, these boots are way better. <laughs> See ya. Um. Get rid of these. Keys, eh. Uh... Oh, you see the thing is about keys, they're... I guess, I, I guess if you, you don't really run to, into a lot of locked treasure chests. And to tell you the truth, even locked treasure chests give you absolutely nothing most of the time. Your chances of a locked treasure chest giving you a bunch of shit is like one out of like uh, a thousand or a million. So it's really a waste of time. How many gems did I have? I hope I didn't sell. No, if I sell the gems, they probably would show up right here. So I only have two gems, okay. Good to know. Um, that's good enough. <coughs> You gotta like the sound when you collect skulls. Yes. But yeah, uh, skulls are actually gems in this game. Uh, they do certain things when you put them into armor and stuff. Alrighty. The cool thing about this game, it actually kind of once you get the ryth rhythm of the game, uh, you start to become really relaxed. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of getting at right now. That's why my voice is starting to go down. Um, just looking at my leveling stuff. Just making a, a future plan when I do level up. Thinking about it, um, I 
Oh, I, f I forgot about that. That. Did I repair? I hope not. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh. More goat men. And they're very, very dead. They were kind of overrun anyways. for a quest for later, but I'm not going to do th this quest um, on this video, because as it is, this video is going to be very long, so, but I'm going to activate it anyway, so it's just one part of it. And so it came to pass that the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins, was buried alive, and her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound, still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. Yeah, uh, pretty cool story there. Well, honestly, some of the lore of this game is actually kind of cool, but uh, by the time Diablo 3 comes by, the lore becomes a little bit too much. Like, they, they, they focus too much on the lore of the game, rather than the gameplay. Which I guess can be okay, but the way that this game is set up, it really feels like it should tell you what the lore is. I feel like you should figure it out yourself and uh, just uh, have fun with killing monsters and shit. Just wrecking these guys. My skeletons are kicking so much ash. I think I can look over my skeletons' overall stats if I look at my summon my skeleton summon spell. Eight, that, that health on that monster went down so fast, even though you guys probably couldn't see it. I mean, holy crap. They don't mess with these skeletons. They're like, they just freaking like surround you and just hit you all at once. You know, I think I'm gonna stop right here for a minute. And just look at. So, my skeletons are doing a uh, seven. To nine points of damage for each of them. Okay, each one of them has 66 uh, um, HP. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, um, they're not doing a whole lot of damage individually. But they, when they all hit you at once, they'll probably, like, knock your health down pretty quickly. Especially how fast they hit, too. They seem to have a very fast attack rating. Uh, you know what, I'll make it to another corner and look at my, level, my summoning spells again, because I want to, um, know, uh, by the next level how much damage in the HP they'll gain and stuff. This game requires a lot of thinking. Like, 
guess we're running right into a pivot. No. Jeez. No, stop. You're, you're dead. Skeletons are just kicking their asses, and there's absolutely nothing they can do. <laughs> the problem is they all the, the, the enemies are all spread around. The skeletons start to become spread a little bit thin. Oh, I found I found the portal. Nice in this area. a problem. Um, I can't carry anymore. I'm already full. Well, a little bit. I accidentally picked that up. Um, yeah. I it's only an invisible cap. Anymore. I guess I can look at my stuff for here as well. Hello. Has some uh, poison damage to it. Interesting. Well, it puts my uh, bone arrow to shame. Suck. Well, I'm gonna hang on to this air a bone arrow anyways, because I'll give it to her eventually. I just a few more gems. Then I'll consider start using them to power my guy and my uh, necromancer up. Good to see you. I don't need to be prepared or anything, which is great. Um, you know what? I really didn't give her any armor. Um, that should help her enhance her defense a little bit. I'll put that to good use. Oh, I need to buy a potion. <laughs> no problem. 
and my game's lagging. Alrighty, so let's look at, uh... Next level would make them do... It doesn't say exactly what damage that they will be able to do. It does give me their HP. I'm guessing it's double, maybe? I don't know. Usually it doesn't go up that much. But I know that if I use this, this should increase their... Okay. Oh, it increases their uh, skeleton's life and damage. Nice! Skeleton ages. Yeah, this is actually something I should be focusing on. It does so much stuff for you. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'll focus on that. drop any more gems. I highly doubt it. But I want to get is a bunch of gems so I can start uh, building my building some armor and custom armor and stuff. I have some I have some of the parts now. Which is great. I can make a custom bow and a custom armor. You know like uh, like you know chest armor or whatever you want to call it. sure if that's really a what's wrong with my mouse no you better not be oh god no no I'm losing power no for you guys who probably don't know I use a wireless mouse oh. yeah it's moving very slow I'm losing power son of a bitch well this video is gonna be very long I wish I could edit things out. <laughs> Actually, you know what I can do? I can still move my mouse around. Yes, I can. Move. Must move mouse. Pause recording. Okay. You guys are probably going to start reminding me to get me a wired mouse. For which I will say that even though having a wired mouse is both a blessing, an, I mean a, a wireless mouse is both a blessing and a curse. Because I don't have to worry about cords getting tangled up with me and everything, but I do have to worry about the batteries inside of the, you know, mouse uh, going. For which that could be a problem. Well, anyways, back on to our quest. <laughs> this time we don't have to worry about our batteries going up because I just switched for brand new ones, and it does take a while quite a long time actually for the batteries in my mouse to go to a 
blow it. My computer is, uh, my game is lagging so much more now. <laughs> oh yes, and I'm sorry about the fact that you guys can't see very well over here because of my face is in the way. But, there's not really anything I can do. I can't find a place to put my, my face. Um... I'm gonna think about what it is I want to put in my and my extra part of my stats. I don't use magic very much, but I do need it though. However, I think it'd be better to focus on my mentality for now. And hopefully I can get up to 100 HP. And we are going to focus on this. Uh, let's see what that did for my skeletons. Holy shit. They, uh, they definitely leveled up, but not by much. Um, my golem, however, did not gain anything, unfortunately. Well, I'm freaking... I guess that's only good for, like, skeletons and shit. I guess if I want to upgrade my golem, I gotta upgrade his thing. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Well, I'm not going to focus on my golem until... Oh! oh. What was I thinking? Oh, my, now my skeletons are going to start carrying hatchets now, which is pretty cool. What's to say right now? Just mapping out the place. And we're gonna be doing the same thing with. Uh, what is it? The Dark Woods. But however, note that the next mission after this will be a lot shorter. Which means my video might be a lot shorter. But I might decide to do two missions in one video if I feel like doing it. That depends on on future me. What future me wants to do. You guys suck. Lag. It took me forever to get to that. All right, we mapped out the entire area, most of it. The only thing we didn't map out is the uh, is some of the center areas, and the... which is fine. We don't really need to map out the entire thing. We just need to map out enough of it so there's not that many monsters running around. And the reason for that is because we're going to be coming back here. Because we need to get the scroll and we have to come back here to get to those stones over there. 
also, uh, it's a lot easier when you map up the entire place because then you can find the wave points and then you can just teleport to these places. Uh, which is a lot, which actually helps out a lot. Which is probably why the, the next mission after this is gonna be a lot easier because once we have the waypoint to the uh, dark woods, uh, all we have to do is teleport to the dark woods and make our way to the tower. And that it would be extremely easy to do. Oh god, I just remembered uh, that this place is uh, very terrifyingly dangerous. Uh, the archer skeletons down here can kick your ass, so I gotta be careful. Monsters down here. They're not that big of a threat. I'm just more scared about running into freaking archers. I am overburdened. The lagging in this game has gone gone overboard, but I don't know why. Some days it works fine, other days it just lags like fucking crazy. Oh, wh why am I why am I holding that? Yes. Again, not really much to talk about, just doing like you know, whatever. And... Uh, I think I want a little too much. Uh, that's a good balance right there. Come on, video game. There's no reason for you to constantly lag. There's no reason. No reason at all. Oh god, skeleton archers. They don't have much HP, so you can kill them pretty fastly. Pretty, pretty fastly. <laughs> pretty fast. But, when they hit you, they can kill you pretty fast. <laughs> because they do so much damage. Skeletons are knocking these things on archers out of the freaking way. Um, I don't know why they're doing as, doing as well as they did. Well, I've played the Necromancer several different times, and every time when I come down here, the skeleton archers, they always kick my uh, skeleton archers' ass. My skeletons, my skeletons, my skeletons ass pretty badly. And I think one of the reasons this was is because every time I come down here, there's usually a champion skeleton archer. And when it comes to uh, champions or named enemies, 
my uh, your summon creatures usually don't do that well against that. You usually have to be the one to take those guys out. And some of them are pretty nasty. And I really don't like skeleton archers in this game because I don't understand why they do so much damage to you. It's insane. <laughs> Call them goblins because that's what they make me think of. They're like little goblins. All right, we found the dark woods. Nice. But it doesn't mean things are going to get any easier. Uh, Dark Woods is. Um, still, there's a still with um, uh, monsters that you did actually fight in the previous course, but they're a little bit stronger, but they really don't. They're still not that big of a threat yet. Uh, but like I said, once we get to like Act 2. Oh my god! Oh shit! Well! Luckily, we didn't run into, run into him during the, the, the cave because there probably wouldn't be a whole lot of place to run. To run. I can't carry anymore. But still, I don't like the idea of running into those guys. <laughs> Am I about to uh, level up again? I just noticed that on the bottom of my screen. Wow. I guess in killing that name, dude, I must have gained a lot of XP. Holy shit. Seriously, leave something down in the comments of why is my game lagging so much. There's no reason for this shit. Oh yeah, that's right, I am full. Good day. You know what? I never actually used the ring eyes before in this game. Maybe you should do, uh, do something like that for the assassin. <laughs> Just a thought. I think I uh, I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I've already told you guys, but for Diablo 2 uh, for my let's plays, uh, after I finish the Necromancer, I am going to do a different uh, character. I hope that doesn't get too boring for you guys, but I want I want to show you guys like the different clashes and the best way to play as them means there's going to be lots of Diablo for you guys if you guys really are interested. Uh, as far as the other classes go, um, there are some uh, vague differences for all the classes and there are many different play ways to play the different classes and some of the, and some of the ways can make you super OP, especially for the druid. With the druid, you can literally make yourself invincible. I'm not kidding. Um. All 
Alright, monsters, that's enough. I need to focus on my leveling up stuff right here. Um... I'm gonna add to my magic a little bit, just a little bit. Um, is that that? To my skeletons. Um, since I'm, let's take a look at my quests real quick. Yeah, after the, yeah, obviously I'm protective cane. Three missions left, so I think I should focus on my golem at some point. This is gonna be a long ass video, I can already tell. I uh, just, uh, just hope it doesn't take 2,000 fucking years just to upload the damn thing. <clears throat> that might make this video probably the last thing I upload. <laughs> Because it's taking so long just to get through it. I knew doing the whole Decker take that uh, Decker Kane thing was gonna be long, but what made it worse was uh, my mouse running out of battery and other things that are getting in the way. But I am actually happy playing this game. I do like Diablo. It's one of my favorite games to play. I know I complained earlier. That was only oh Jesus, we got a serious monkey problem. Fighting DK. Oh jeez. <laughs> Did I just like rapid fire? That was awesome. Why did I pick that up? That was good. So the tree must be around here. Oh, it's up there. Okay. So there's the tree. This tree shines with inner spirits. All right, let's head back to town real quick. I I pressed the wrong button. Ah, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written. Focusing on using bone arrows and stuff, I probably would use those weapons. They were kind of cool. Not gonna lie. All right. I still need to find the wave point for the dark woods. Would you stop lagging, please? So once I find the wave point for the dark woods, what you I'll need? continue on with the mission. But in the meantime, I really need to find the wave point. Stop lagging! God damn it! 
the lag is really ridiculous and that's really starting to piss me off. There's a waypoint. All we really need is a waypoint, honestly. Alright, we need to go back to rural camp, pick up the scrolls, go to um stony fields, and then get and go to the stone. That's all we really need to do. I think it might be lagging because the video is really long, it's taking up a lot of file space. Um Stony Fields. So... Without further ado... What's left of proud Tristram are ghosts and ashes. Pretty much. Help! Deckard Kane, if you value your life! Oh. Holy fuck! That was actually a pretty intense battle. But you guys probably couldn't see it because, uh, well, there were buildings in the way. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, there's so much gold here. I mean, it's gold out the east. Am I complaining? Eh, a little bit. Just because uh, if you gain too much gold, there will be problems. <laughs> because uh, the more, if if you gain more gold than your uh, treasure chest can handle back to town, you have to lose gold faster when you die and stuff. In, uh, what you would do if you had less. I'm not sure if I want to get Lord's leg, but uh, just because it takes up room in the, in the treasure chest. But I could always come back and get it, I think. So I'm not worried. I think. I don't know. What? Ah! Bullshit! How am I getting hit? Oh, 
man, my skills are dying. Better back off. Attack my minions. Very dead. I think we're done here. I just wanted to kill a few monsters to get a little extra uh, XP, but not because there's really it's not going to give you much to begin with, anyways. You have risked your life to rescue Kane. For that, we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately. Uh, how sick it in a moment, but I want to go through my shit. Alright, so this is what you gave me? Poison resistance. Nice. Yeah, this is... No. Bye. Um, zombie hits are actually pretty useful. The only problem is you really you can't hold the bone arrow and zombie head, so I'm gonna have to sell it. Fuck. I have no choice. Um excuse me. to see you. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. Yeah, that's another quest we'll do another day. And I don't have to repair. Nice. Alright, let's wrap this up. Greetings. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago, Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk, and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him or all will be lost. Well. We'll see about stopping Diablo, but in the meantime, uh, that will do for this video. Please like, and subscribe, and all that other stuff. This is Zerduku signing out.